one of our previous videos about temperature measurement with calibrated sensors, we demonstrated how to adjust the emissivity value in order to have the correct temperature displayed. In most applications, the distance between the object and the sensor is fixed, so we can use our sensors right away. But there are applications like human fever scanners where stock sensors will not perform as expected. You may not be able to constrain the target distance and the bare sensors will show large variations in the sensor's temperature output. To demonstrate what I'm talking about, we show in this video the temperature readings of a sensor which is facing upwards. Above the sensor we have installed a temperature controlled big area black body. As an example for all sensors, we have here a 4x4 pixel array with a narrow field of view. The black body surface is fully covering the sensor's field of view at all times. We place the sensor in a distance of about 25 cm and record the readings over time while reducing the distance to the black body by 12 cm and retracting it again. The mean temperature over all pixels is shown here as a red line. It starts with a reading of 40 degrees C and increases to almost 41 degrees C when we reduce the distance to the black body. Since all pixels show the exact same behavior, this effect cannot be explained by a partial coverage of the sensor's field of view by the target area. In fact, it is mostly straight light, which contributes significantly to the net radiation as seen by the sensor's thermopile chip. Fortunately, there is an effective countermeasure to this effect, also known from photography, a lens hut. Best material for a lens hut is a thermally conductive metal such as copper or aluminum. If you tend to use plastic, please make sure it will have in the final application the same temperature like the sensor's metal package. Use the provided field of view data to design a funnel which is not directly visible to the sensor's pixels. In case of a two-dimensional array, you must take the diagonal into account. The deeper the funnel, the better stray light will be shielded. Grooves can improve the effect. It is important that the walls are absorbing infrared light and not reflecting it. High emissivity black paint or black anodized aluminum are a good choice for the surface finish. So let's see what impact a 3 cm deep funnel in this experiment has. We repeat the exact same experiment now with the lens hut attached to the sensor. The funnel must be at the same temperature like the sensor. The data shows almost no distance dependence anymore. Also, the temperature appears lower, which indicates how big the contribution of stray light in this experiment was. With the funnel, you will need to adjust the emissivity of the sensor in order to obtain the correct temperature reading. This is discussed in a previous video about temperature measurement. Check out our website to review our sensors and their package options and contact us in case you need any further help in the design of your device.